did you encounter it? No, it wasn't at the pedestal. And what news do you bring? It left a parchment. Ah, good. So it was worth the trip. A new regulation, perhaps? Not exactly. A single name. That is... unfortunate. Whose name is it? Hello everyone, welcome to Conspirocracy. That was the introduction that plays before you get to the main menu. And as you can probably guess from that intro, this is an adventure game. And here's the story. A school teacher wakes to find his entire life is missing from public record. His bank account, his health care, his credit cards are all frozen when the government declares him to be a non-person. As he takes the steps necessary to pull his life back together, he becomes aware of nefarious forces that have conspired against him. The truth, it seems, is rarely pure and never simple. Conspirocracy starts in an exaggerated, highly bureaucratic reimagining of Toronto, Canada. Sounds pretty freaking cool, and I can't wait to check it out. You can get this game from Desora. I'll have a link to that in the description. And I want to thank one of my viewers, David, for suggesting it to me, because otherwise I probably would have missed it. And as is usual, I like to go slow and take my time and analyze things a bit, especially towards the end. So I'll be doing that as usual. That's my play style. And uh, let's go. New game. All right. Yeah, I've played it for a couple minutes. Mostly just the tutorial, just to, you know, make sure it works. And I already like what I see. It's really just making a new game is actually funny. Full name. Uh, I'll just go with my real name. Oh, God. I forgot the R. Marshall Die. Di it's supposed to be Dire. Shit. It Whatever. It's fine. 21. Sex? Uh, no thanks. Oh, um. Male. Least favorite color. Uh. Your face. Least favorite Beatles member. Huh? Oh, Ringo, right. Office stationery you most identify with. Paper? That's a stupid answer. Soup preference. Black bean. Hmm. Checkbox if this is your first time playing, so that starts the tutorial, which I don't need to do. I recognize that submitting false information could result in criminal penalties. Agree. Exception 51. Clerical error. An error was found in your file. Please contact the Department of Social Security and Citizenship for more information. Eviction notice. Failure to pay insufficient funds. Eviction. What happened to all my savings? An eviction notice? There's plenty of money in my bank account. I need to speak to my landlord right away. Okay, and there we go. And this is as far as I've gotten in the game. So there is a stress meter which has now risen very high because I'm getting evicted. Which makes sense. I suppose that would stress you out, wouldn't, wouldn't it? So one thing I want to mention off the bat is that this game has a lot of menus. A lot of screens. In fact, it seems to have three separate ones. You have your tablet, which has a bunch of sub-menus in and of itself. And then... Oh god, I think I just crashed the game. I... I just crashed the game. That is a bad start. 
I will be right back. Okay, let's try this again. So like I was saying, there's a ton of menus in this game. You have your tablet that has a bunch of apps inside of it. You have the actual menu. And then you have your cell phone too. The only number of which... <laughs> the only number on my cell phone is apparently to my ex-wife, which is kind of sad. That's pretty sad. It's, uh... Yeah, I gotta be frank, the menu system and all the sub-menus is pretty clunky. So I'm probably gonna be fumbling with it quite a bit, but... Hopefully it's not too bad to deal with. You have to, uh, you have to press the right mouse button to alternate between the three, or the three different actions you can do. Walk, uh, grab or touch or whatever that is, and look. There's a keyboard shortcuts for them, but it's a little bit strange to use. Frying pans. Frying pans. What will they think of next? Fascinating. I know those kitchen supplies are fascinating, aren't they? When is a cigar not a cigar? When it's that thing. <laughs> yes, a stove is not a cigar. That is an astute observation. Warm beer. Mm. It's a bottle of warm beer. Can I grab it for no particular reason? Ah, hell, why not? Excellent. Don't judge me. <laughs> okay, I should probably save it. Ooh, that actually lowered my stress. Cool. Just replace that one. So I'm supposed to speak to my landlord, but before that, let's just take a look around my apartment. The one that I am about to be evicted from. Let's enjoy it while I can. Why do I find myself constantly overthinking things? I don't know, why don't you have a good think about it and tell me? It's not particularly noteworthy. You watched a television show where the poorly educated fight over the garbage left in abandoned storage units. <laughs> and that lowered my stress. Ah, wonderful. It's not particular. Not much in here. Leftover pasta and a can of soda. Yeah, I can go for some soda and wash down that warm beer. Actually, I can't not take it, can I? Here. Nope. Oh, well. Yesterday's newspaper. That doesn't sound very new. All the paper without the new. Z. Post office strike continues with little hope for resolution. I don't really need yesterday's news. School curriculum. Oh yeah, he's a teacher. According to this, class sizes will increase again. I am no longer permitted to assign any grade lower than a C without advanced permission from a parent or guardian. <laughs> grade 9 students will now read the Harry Potter books instead of To Kill a Mockingbird. Grade 10 students will now read The Secret and Confessions of a Shopaholic instead of Hamlet and Things Fall Apart. Grade 11 students will now read two books by Anne Coulter oh my God. instead of two books by Margaret Atwood. Grade 12 students will now read Fifty Shades of Grey instead of <laughs> The Great Gatsby. <laughs> students will be able to submit essays in person by email or via text message. All lesson plans must be previously approved by a federal idea law commissioner before being returned to a teacher. Schools will no longer operate when the temperature drops below minus 5 degrees Celsius or when gas costs more than 115 cents a liter. This curriculum is an outrage! <laughs> oh god, I shouldn't have read it. It increased my stress. Wow, so you can't give below C without approval. So basically, no student can fail. Everybody's a winner! What a wonderful system. It's my wallet. It's my wallet. Yes, I, I know it's your wallet. It's his wallet. There's no cash in here, just my bus pass. 
I'm trying to remember how to access my inventory. I think it's here, right? Yeah, here we go. Ubiquitous tablet inventory system. Version 0.2.1a. I'm going to use it on my curriculum. My bus pass won't be useful here. Aww. It's far too early in the morning to take a nap. I thought there was something under there. Unassembled Swedish <laughs> Unassembled Swedish furniture. Hmm. IKEA? Non-copyright infringing IKEA box? Hmm. In this box there are some particle board shelves. And the only thing of any real use in here is an Allen key. Already collecting random shit. I can't wait to see what I have to do with it. I can already see it coming. 20 items in my inventory. Let's, let's look in the future. Let's see, 20 items in my inventory, using everything on everything. Yep, yeah, that sounds about right. It's not particularly noteworthy. Hmm, nah. I've got a couple of books downloaded onto my tablet anyway. If there's nothing good left here, I will go. Something in the air, poison in the snow. I could pack my room in an afternoon. Oh, I could leave it all. Posters on the wall, discipline my heart. It's actually a really good song. I'm going to preemptively turn it off in case it's some sort of copyrighted song. That's actually really good. Diploma. That's my teaching diploma. A constant reminder of the worst decision of my life. <laughs> Let's just leave that there. It's empty. How exciting. I think it's time to go. Unless I can grab a frying pan. What am I supposed to be frying? I don't know. Your face. Yeah, I think it's time to go. Let's see, though. I'm supposed to talk to my landlord. Seems I can't call him. What about my apps? Like, I don't even know what the hell these are. There's so many submenus in this game. I, oh, that's back. This, right, that's my objective and my status. Speak to the landlord. Uh-huh. Oh, those are the books downloaded onto my... Or, I guess they're not just books, but just notes downloaded onto my tablet. Yeah, this is the eviction notice. Alright, so my name is David Polson, apparently. Okay, what does it say? If you do not agree with this eviction notice, you have the right to legal advice and may contact a lawyer. Oh, that was going to say something else. I have Moby Dick on here. Wait, like, do I have the entire book? Oh, no, just a part of it. The Trial. Hmm. Oh, that apparently reduced my stress. Cool. Global Positioning System, GPS. Right, so I'm next to the green thing, next to a bunch of white things. Cool. Got it. What the hell is this? Is this a game? Hmm, what? What? What is this? I have no idea what this is. Wait, my stress is going up every time I do this. What the hell is this? I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing here, but I'm going to leave it because it's just making my stress go up.
Just got eviction notice. Fuck my life. Hashtag I hate Mondays. <laughs> Google. I can search for... Cats. Entries on cats not found. Are you saying you just searched the internet and you found no cats? Are you saying you just found no cats on the internet? Are you serious? What? Okay. Actually, hold on. It's Monday and I'm having a great day, so let's call my ex-wife. Hi, honey. Hello? Hi, Madeline. David? Is this a good time? I could use your help. Oh. I can't talk right now. My art class is starting in a few minutes. Wonderful. And now my stress has gone up. Let's leave. I could just go outside and don't go speak to the landlord. Let's go to the landlord. It's a wonderful office you have here, sir. Looks a bit hot. Also, you look like you're about to pass out. Are you okay? It's not particularly noteworthy. I don't think the landlord would like that. And that's precisely why I want to do it. I don't think the landlord is in the mood to let me play with it. Oh, he looks playful. It's not but Truly, he is a modern Adonis. I don't even know what an Adonis is. Is that a person? Can I help you? I just received an eviction notice from you. Okay. May I have your name? Uh, it's David Paulson, Unit 1512. Oh, yes, I remember you. Your check bounced, and I got a notice that you're dead. <laughs> what? I'm standing right here. Uh huh. Mister, Article 5, Subsection B of the Landlord Municipal Code states, and I quote, a landlord may reserve the right to not rent to vampires, zombies, and other vitally challenged persons. And if you make one move towards my brains, I got a shotgun with your name on it. Uh, so what do I need to do? If I knew how to bring the dead back to life, I'd be dating Barbara Billingsley right now. The mom from Leave it to Beaver? I don't want to talk about it. Look, if you're really alive, then the government has made some sort of mistake. If that's the case, Brain Eater, then you'll need to come back with a writ of vitality adjustment. And where do I get one of those things, exactly? You probably should visit the Department of Social Security and Citizenship. Now please, leave. How the heck am I supposed to find that? There's a stop to the northwest of here. Hmm. Maybe I should find the address on my tablet. I probably should. Okay, so I need a piece of paper that says that I'm alive. I need to get my vitality adjusted. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? Okay. Um. Do I just look at the map? GPS? That doesn't help. Do I search for it? What? The... What was the place called? I don't even remember the name of the place. How... DSSC office. Oh, Department of Social Security and Citizenship. Citizenship. 19 Huntsville Drive, Toronto, Ontario. Mm-hmm. Is responsible for facilitating Canadian access to government programs and benefits. The DISC requires individuals to apply for adjustments for their citizenship status in person. Let's go. 
19 Huntsville Drive. Danger! Outside of the I comfort. I should go visit the Department of Social Security and Citizenship to restore my identity. Yes, I know that. Hold on a second, I'm reading this warning. Outside of the comfort of your apartment, you should always be mindful of danger. Mind your blood pressure and look both ways before crossing the street. Hmm, well there's nothing to my left. Eh, you know one way is good enough. I don't need to look both ways. Wait a minute. Can I actually get run over? Can... Can you actually get run over? I'm about to find out. <clears throat> Here we go. Green! That car nearly hit me. I must be more careful. Oh, it just increases your stress. Okay. Protesters. Let's check out the park. Pretty. Ah, it's a goose. It's a goose. Hawk. <laughs> oh, I can't do it again. Hey, I just took a ramp. Why do I want a skateboard ramp? Okay. Sure. Oh, actually, I think my stress is going down just by being next to this fountain. Or maybe just by being in the park. Maybe it only goes down a certain amount, because it seems to have stopped. It's a pretty fountain. It is pretty. I found a quarter in there. Sweet. I probably am actually going to have like 20 items in my inventory pretty soon. It says this is a statue of Brian Connors, generous donator to the Foundation Fighting Blindness and all round swell guy. Just because he looks like he wants a hug doesn't mean I should give him <laughs> I'm not going to root through this garbage. Why do I find myself... He looks like he doesn't want to be disturbed. That's exactly why I want to disturb him. I better leave him alone. Ooh, maybe I can jack his bike. When is a cigar not a cigar? That doesn't belong to me. I know, that's why I want to take it. Jesus, no imagination, this guy. She looks like she doesn't want to be disturbed. Oh no, is that a... Is that a group of youths? Damn youths. That's Braden Schofield. I taught him English last year. It was a constant uphill battle. <laughs> it's Mr. Paulson. Hello, Braden. How is or was your summer break? How are you enjoying your summer break? Is that supposed to be funny? I'm stuck in summer school because you failed me in English. Well, maybe you shouldn't have sucked at English then. How are you enjoying your summer break? Is that I'm stuck. Why'd you fail me in English? You didn't do most of the assignments. And I'm pretty sure you didn't read most of the books. Whatever, man. <laughs> Why'd you fail me at a class where I didn't do basically anything? What are your future plans, you little shit? What are your plans after you leave high school? I don't know. Work, I guess? Fascinating. Goodbye.
could I just go into like any of these buildings? Just how how big is this place? It seems kind of freaking massive. Coffee shop. Bank. Post office. Looks like there's a bunch of people protesting. There was something about the post office in the newspaper, wasn't there? I don't actually remember what it said, though. Alright. Uh, can I, like, read the street signs or something? How am I supposed to find out where this is? Because I know I need to go to... 19 Huntsville Drive. But... I don't know where that is. I'm sure I can find it if I just keep moving. Oh, do I need to take the bus there? What the? Uh, huh? Occupancy 90%, okay. Speed. <laughs> Driver intoxication 34%, average 34. Noise 87 decibels, or decibels. Teenage conversations 10. <laughs> Body odor. Um, why would I want to wait? I, sure. I'll take it. I could even go to the airport. Holy crap, this game is really large. Let's go to the disc. You nearly choked to death on the horrible stench of body odor on the bus. <laughs> okay. That's not good. Uh, shouldn't there be somebody at the front desk? It appears nobody is working the front desk today. It appears... Well, that's great. A potted plant. Another potted plant! Two potted plants? That's a sign. It's a potted plant with no remarkable attributes. No, no, it's two potted plants. You know what that means. Half-Life 2 confirmed. Oh, wait, that already came out. Huh. Wait a minute, but there's a tiny little plant right there. <gasps> Half-Life 3 confirmed. I guess I just take the elevator? Okay. Groovy music. I like it. Good afternoon. May I help you with something? Yes, um, I seem to be dead. Could you please fix that? Hello, I would like to obtain a writ of vitality adjustment in order to restore my identity, please. Very well. Can you provide your file number for me, please? My file number? Yes. WVA applicants must obtain a file number from the Bureau of Exposition. This is the Bureau of Bureaucratic Oversight. We can't process any paperwork without a file number. You do realize that oversight can mean both overseeing and the failure to oversee? Yes, sir. The irony has not been lost on us all. Where do I find the Bureau of Needless Exposition? The BNE has been moved to a call center in Shawinigan. But they can be reached at this number. Wonderful. Hold on just a second, ma'am. Entendre ce message en français appuyez sur 
For information on temporary work visas, please dial 1. To inquire about your pension or benefit program, please dial 2. For information on foreign adoptions, please dial 3. For all other queries, please stay on the line. One moment, please. Hello, this is Melissa speaking. How may I help you? Hello, my name is David Paulson. According to my bank, the government has me incorrectly listed as deceased. Okay, let's take a look. Date of birth, please. February 26, 1976. Just one minute. Okay, David. Yes, yes, I see the problem here. It shouldn't be too difficult to restore your identity, but you're gonna have to provide us with a few things first. Do you have a pencil handy? What do I need to do? In order for us to correct this error, we're going to need you to hand deliver to the department the following two documents. Your original birth certificate and a certificate of life. Okay, I hope I have my original birth certificate. What the hell is a certificate of life? I can try to intimidate her? Unknown success likelihood. Um, let's not do that. You need a birth certificate? We require your original birth certificate, yes. This will assist us in being able to verify your identity. Well, that's a complicating factor. I don't think I have a birth certificate. Well, for citizens born in Canada. That's just it. I wasn't born in Canada. I was adopted from Chikenistan as an infant. Hello? One moment, sir. I am looking for an atlas. <laughs> Never mind that. What do I do? Well, you could request that the Chikenistan government forward your original birth records to the local embassy. That could take weeks, months even. Well, I don't know what else to tell you. You might need to go pick them up yourself, then? You mean actually go to Jakinistan? I'm not sure what else to suggest. How would I possibly do that? If if my bank thinks I'm dead, where am I going to get the money to go fly? There was the airport, though, so maybe I will be going to Jakinistan. Jakinistan. Whatever the hell it was. Okay, was this a certificate of life? Certificate of life? What's that? We need to verify that you are, in fact, alive. A certificate of life is issued by a medical professional to ensure that you possess signaling and self-sustaining metabolic processes generally considered to be alive. What? That's ridiculous. I'm obviously alive. I'm talking to you right now. A certificate of life helps us to verify that you are not a hallucination, real spirit, schizophrenic episode, or a metaphor in a postgraduate essay in solipsism. <laughs> okay. I need to hand deliver these documents? Where exactly? You must deliver them to the Bureau of Bureaucratic Oversight at the Department of Social Security and Citizenship. Has this ever happened before? I'm not sure, sir. Okay, well, I'm not going to beg or intimidate, so I'm just going to say goodbye. Your file number is 652 have to give that to them for them to process your writ. I just wrote that down just in case I actually need it. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a point in talking to her right now, but I do have my file number and that's what she's asking for, so let's do it. Good afternoon. May I help you with something? Hello, I would like to obtain a writ of vitality adjustment in order to restore my identity, please. Very well, can you provide- Six, mm -hmm. five. Before we can restore your identity, we need two documents from you. Do you have your original birth certificate? Uh, no I don't. Oh, well that's very important. You're going to need one of those. Come back here when you- Okay, okay. That's what I thought. Does- it... I just realized, is the cord coming out of this computer? Which I might, which I should say, is very awkwardly placed. That's a very strange place for a computer tower. And also, does the court just go under the floor, like, or into the wall? What the hell? Like, what is it doing? It just goes there and then disappears. That's some strange cable management. Hmm. 
you think she'd find it strange if I tried to open the door behind her? Is she looking at me? I can't even walk back there. Oh well. Wait a minute, wait a minute, what is this? The bureaucracy is expanding to meet the needs of the expanding bureaucracy. <laughs> yes it is. Bureaucracy to handle the bureaucracy. It appears. Okay, so how in the hell do I get this stuff? And at the moment, I have 25 cents on me a skateboard ramp, an Allen key, and a bus pass. Fly to Chikenistan and obtain your birth certificate. And go to a doctor to get the certificate of life. Okay. Where's the nearest hospital? Doctor, please. Uh, who cares? Whatever. I'll find it. I'm assuming it'll be in the neighborhood. No, 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 no. Leave. Okay, so where can I go? This is the post office. Let's not get run over. We will not deliver another bag of mail until we are heard. We demand fair wages and reasonable working conditions. That does not sound reasonable at all. Fair wages? What kind of a monster are you? This postal worker's on strike. This postal- No ifs! No buts! No postal service pension cuts! That's a nice little slogan. Good job. It's a large box that can be used as a platform. A sort of soap box? Hmm. But is it actually full of soap? Power! We won't give them another hour! Oh my god, please stop talking. We've been out here for weeks. Really? And you haven't starved to death yet? Amazing. United! We'll never be defeated! Th that wasn't even the slogan. Try again. That was terrible. He appears to be watching the strike. Man, what I wouldn't give for an excuse to tear gas a lot of them. <laughs> no blood for oil! What? I mean, uh, we're mad as hell and we're not gonna take it anymore! There you go, that's better. Did I just get another quarter? Oh, two quarters! Just think of all of the things I can do. I have 50 cents. I have 50 cents. I can just pay the rent with my pocket change. I suppose I should probably use it to get the paper, maybe? It's a vending machine. Nah, I've got a paper. Yeah, you have yesterday's paper. A newspaper costs two dollars. This is why print media is dead. It's two dollars for a newspaper? Yeah, screw that. Bank? They're not gonna be able to do anything. They think I'm dead. I'm sure my account's probably closed. Oh, medical building. There we go. 
It's down here, though. Toys. Metro Toys and Games. Oh, there's the embassy. God, this place is really large. Los Perros Locos. Hello. It looks like he's hit hard times. Hi there. Aren't you going to ask me for spare change? Absolutely not. I'm only a class four vagabond. I'm not permitted to ask for change until I obtain my begging, busking, and street mancy license. Oh, okay. Fair enough. What's a class four vagabond? The government realized that we're going to be out wandering the streets anyways, we might as well be licensed and taxed. Because I don't have my begging, busking, and street mancy license, I'm not permitted to ask you for charity, play an instrument, or perform any type of regular or irregular street magic. What the heck is irregular street magic? I need an antisocial degenerate license to be drunk in public or to hurl abusive epithets at strangers. <laughs> but with my class four, I am permitted to share any combination of conspiracy theories and paranoid delusions. So while I can't take charity, I do scrape by by selling my newsletter. Oh, okay. Interesting. So they tax the homeless. That doesn't seem like a good idea. I'll take your newsletter, though. So what's that newsletter you've got there? Ah, my pride and joy, the modern anti-establishmentarian. It enlightens the masses with an intelligent discourse on relevant social topics. This week's focus is avoiding alien abductions, hacking healthcare robots for fun and profit, and the dark secrets of a mysterious society of civil servants. That sounds... relevant? Actually, the part about hacking medical robots or whatever that said actually does, since I'm about to go into the medical building, I might need it. So, can I have one? So, what's that news that I hit in this? That. Relevant? I guess not. What's your name? What's your name? My friends call me Seabiscuit. <laughs> what? Okay. Can I get you anything? No, thanks. I'm not permitted to accept handouts or charity. Why the shoe box? Some kid stole my shoes off my feet a few days ago while I was sleeping in a nearby alley. Shoe jacked! I've been getting by with this box. If you do stumble upon my lost shoes, I would happily reward you for returning them to me. Okay, new quest. Find shoes. Okay, I'm game. Lay the truth on me. Oh, David. You cannot merely be told about the conspirators lurking about you like spiders made out of shadows that are made out of more spiders. You must be shown. Hey, how did you know my name? You take this pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. That's a dead house fly. Swallow it. Swallow a dead house flight. No, it's fucking gross. I'm not swallowing your house fly. All right then, sea biscuit. Goodbye. Let's see what else is around here before I go into the medical building. I think I can really go down. I'm probably gonna get run over if I keep moving. Let's go inside. Hello, I am Medibot. Was it really necessary to move back and forth right there? Seems like an unnecessary use of your power. Who programmed you? Man. This guy doesn't look so good. How long have you been waiting here? That robot said I needed to wait here for a couple of days. Yikes. 
days. Aren't you gonna die of starvation? Or dehydration? It's too heavy to be carried. Wait, a single plant? <gasps> Half-Life 1 confirmed! It's a pretty ordinary radiator. Hello, I am Medivod. Please state the nature of your medical emergency. I need you to confirm that I'm alive. I need a certificate of life from the doctor. Processing. I think I actually might have to hack it. What are you? I am Medibot. I am programmed to administrate the office of Dr. Emmanuel. Please state the nature of your medical emergency and have your health insurance number ready for verification. Okay, in that case, I'm sick. I'm horribly sick and I'm about to kill over dead. Please take care of me. I feel sick. I need to see a doctor. You little perv no bot. Signs of Health appears reasonable. Your priority level is low. <sighs> Your okay, maybe I do need to take the pill. Although I can't imagine taking a dead housefly would actually do anything unless it's been laced with some sort of chemical. Right, so I'm thinking I either need to appear sick so that it'll take me in, or I need to hack it. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna take the fly. Looks like he's uh which one was it? Wait, is it gone now? Why there's some shoot right if you want some clap the gun because I like or what I need boss. So what so, uh, get this the Brello. Oh here we go. Okay. Oh, you you take this pit. That's a dead house swallow. Okay. I'll swallow your fly. You. Yeah, gross. <laughs> so? Okay, here goes. All of the world's dolphins are imperfect clones of the one surviving super intelligent dolphin the government keeps at Area 51. This dolphin is actually an extraterrestrial sent to Earth to protect us from the reptilian humanoids who live deep underground. Problem is. G-Men have that dolphin in captivity and have been exploiting his knowledge to control the world economy. Hence, the mind control lasers from Earth orbiting satellites. I started writing about the truth when I discovered the startling correlation between late buses and weather patterns. And then 9-11 happened. <laughs> That's why immortals can never fight on holy ground. I lost my train of thought. That's it? The ranting of an idiot? I swallowed a damn fly for nothing. Keep your eyes open, David. How do you know my name? 
Achievement unlocked? What the hell? Uh... They, yeah, here's the achievements. What? You're a wizard, Neo. You swallowed a housefly. <laughs> okay. So how the hell do I get this damn newsletter? I guess I just need to give him a shoe. The thing is, though, he said he sells them, right? So why can't I just buy it from him? Hmm. Huh. Anyway. Okay. Let's go to... You know, let's go to the embassy. Even though I need to fly there. I don't know, maybe they can help me out with my airfare? Something? I mean, trying to get money out of my bank is probably not going to work. In fact, I'm pretty sure anything I try to do is not going to work. But let's try the embassy. I mean, how am I going to get a plane ticket? I'll need money, right? But I can't get my money because I'm dead. But I can't prove I'm not dead because I can't fly. But I can't fly because I don't have money. Like, what the hell do I do? Oh, shoes! Those shoes might belong to somebody. Such a sea biscuit. I can't jump that high. What about the platform? Eh, I don't think it's high enough. Where, where would I even use it? This is not the time. I need like a pole. Which I don't have. There was that big box, but I don't know if I can move it. The one. At the post office? Well, let's go inside of the embassy. You know what, these windows look like, they look like stripes of candy. I just want to lick them. Hmm. What do you think? Do you think this one's mint and this one's like berry blast? Looks delicious. Oh, I see the name Chickenistan or whatever it was is kind of literal. You have a chicken on your flag. I bet she could be bribed. <laughs> what am I going to bribe her with? 50 cents? Now serving 41. There's no one here. What does this notice say? This is a notice reminding visa applicants to bring their passports. And it's a vending machine filled with delicious junk food. Hmm. They usually take money. Okay, how much do I need? Fifty cents should be enough for something, right? Yeah. This vending machine only serves imported Chicanistani foods. I'm not in the mood for a pickled herring and bat liver pastry right now. Ew. I bet. Actually, wait a minute. Do I? Do I need a ticket? Take a ticket from the machine to your right. That's what I was thinking. Twenty-eight. And they're serving forty-one. I think this is going to be a problem. That's weird, she's talking, but I don't actually hear her talking. If you're number 41, please approach with your ticket in hand. Um... I'll give her my ticket, but it's not 41. I'm sorry. I'm not serving this number now. Okay then, time to leave. Maximum efficiency right there. Good job. Alleyway. What's going on back here? Hmm? Hmm? Maybe someone threw away their ticket? Oh, maybe I can hack it. And change the number. Hmm. It's a pretty normal looking dumpster. 
Am I really going to look at everything in the city? You're in an adventure game, of course you are. I'm not going to root through this garbage. It appears to be some sort of panel. It's held shut by a single hex screw. You don't say. Good thing I opened the Swedish furniture. It's some kind of electronic panel. What the fuck? <laughs> Is it a picture of a dog on one of the chips? LRDG? Right, so I need it to be... What the hell do I need it to be? 20... 20 what? 28, okay. This panel makes no sense whatsoever. Okay, so this would be about 30. That... okay. This is 30, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Yeah, so this is 30. Actually, that... yeah, that should be it. Why you can control the number, and it actually tells you what the number is on the panel outside of the place, is very, very strange. Why would somebody engineer it like that? Ah, 28. I'm proud of myself for that one. Here you go, ma'am. How can I help you today? I need a visa issued for a trip to Chikinistan. Ah, very good. Are you be the one team a visiting or working visa? Visiting. Okay. The visa processing fee is fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't have fifty dollars. I'm sorry, but we can't process any visas without that fee. Mm, what about fifty cents? Can we just forget a couple zeros and just call 50 cents good? Is that okay? Let's bribe her. Surely there's some other way I could pay for this visa. Oh, you want to give romance? <laughs> Definitely not that. I... I, just, I don't... Food from the vending machine or something? I don't know. Uh... Why did the dialogue just end? I thought you'd tell me what you wanted. Would you like a skateboard ramp? This is not the time or place for skateboarding. Oh, okay. Can I buy some food? Can I bribe her with chicken food? Hmm. Okay, I'll come back. Man, the music in this game is so groovy. Okay, where to now? So I know I can't fly without a visa, I can't get a visa without money, I probably can't get money without... Proving I'm alive, but let's just try it first by going to the bank. <laughs> 